of the Oprah Winfrey Show. Now 11, the News Channel, first at five. These kids have just witnessed terror on a school bus after a hijacker commandeers it over a grudge with the government. What well, have a deadly ending to this. Imagine your diabetes. Parents who authorities say don't support their kids even though they have the money. And stand by for a special expanded news talk segment. And stand by to call the man behind the Reform Party movement. Ross Perot takes your calls and questions live next, first at 5. Live from Toledo 11, the News Channel. Your first look at today's news with Jerry Anderson. Weather with Larry Watley. And Rebecca Fondacy with News for the Family. This is first at 5. Good afternoon. Welcome to this expanded edition of First at Five for Thursday, November 2nd. I'm Jerry Anderson. Tonight, Miami Beach, Florida police are trying to figure out why a man hijacked a school bus and took it on a harrowing 15-mile journey before he was shot and killed by police. CBS's Dave Failing is in Florida. The school bus was on its way to Blue Lakes Elementary in South Dade County when police say the man forced his way inside. On board were 11 special needs children an adult aide, and the bus driver. The man claimed to have a bomb. He led police on a 15-mile, low-speed chase into Miami Beach. Along the way, police were able to convince the hijacker to stop the bus and let some of the children out until only five remained on board. Finally, the hijacker forced the driver to go to Joe's Stone Crab, a popular Miami Beach restaurant where he'd been fired the night before. All the while, the school bus driver, Alicia Chapman, remained calm. She never panicked. Uh, she was there, uh, concerned primarily for the safety of the children, both her and the bus aide, and really both of them uh, did an outstanding job. As the hijacker approached the door of the bus, police shot him and dragged him to the street. It turned out there was no bomb. Paramedics worked on the man, but he was dead. More police rushed in and pulled the children off the bus. They were scared, but otherwise okay. As frantic parents rushed to the school for word on their kids, the children were miles away eating french fries and ice cream at Joe's restaurant. Uh, the majority of them looked like pretty calm and frankly, uh, as most kids being resilient when they got the ice cream, they sort of felt a lot better. As for the hijacker, his former co-workers at Joe's said he was having personal problems that may have included trouble with the IRS. No one will know for sure what drove him to do this. One thing is certain, the families of 11 boys and girls feel blessed that things didn't turn out worse. Dave Failing.